Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica and I am a hair and makeup artist in Texas and today we're gonna go through my makeup kit. So today I'm just doing my makeup kit but if you want to see my hair kit and what I carry in that just leave me a comment below and let me know. First we're gonna go through my main kit which this is a bag I believe from Amazon. Okay so I kind of have it grouped in a way but not really. So over here is kind of like some foundations, some concealers, some color correctors, cream blushes. I have some lips and eyelashes, I have some primers, mascara, eyebrow products, and eye products. On this side, I have my skincare. Over here, we have some powders. But in this first one, we have the Fenty Beauty Contour Sticks. So I use these a lot and I like to mix them. I also have the Face Atelier Foundation. This is really good if you want like, if you're doing bridles. This is really good if you want an airbrush look without having to actually use an airbrush. We have mini NARS concealers. These are so good if you wanna try different kinds. Depending on what kind of clients you do, you can just get the minis in certain colors that you may not use a lot. That way you don't have to spend that much money on the bigger tubes. I have a contour palette in here. This is from Graftobian. RCMA cream blush palette, LA Pro Conceal. This is good for color correcting on darker skin tones. Then we have Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray. We have a Tarte Pore Affecting Primer. I think that's what it's called. Or maybe I just made that up. Timeless Smoothing Primer. Yeah, I think Pore Affecting is Benefit. Then we have some more concealer. I have the NYX Wonder Sticks. These are really good too if you want something inexpensive. It comes with a highlight and contour, but I mainly just use this for contouring. I have this palette. This is, I believe this is an RCMA palette as well. And this is just some of the foundations that can be used as concealers or correctors. And then I have these glosses from NYX, the butter glosses. I got these in different colors for, I mainly do um, bridal looks. So more of like pinkies and nudes is what I carry in my kit. Then over here I have some eyelashes. These I got from Amazon. These are like a last resort. I really don't even use these that much but they came with a pack a huge pack of eyelashes so then i have some individual lashes in here some eyelash glue i have some charlotte tilbury lipstick over here i have some more lipsticks these are like a mixture of drugstore and high-end i need to fill this out a little bit more but some reds some nudes some pinks just a good mixture then we have a charlotte tilbury um beauty light wand I don't really use this as much. It's really more of like a highlight. I have a photo finish primer. I have a Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Champagne. I have um, some mascara waterproof. I have some body glow from Charlotte Tilbury. My eyelash curlers. These are um, some tweezers, kind of glitter glue. I have some embroilies moisturizer primer, some more glitter. Over here, this is a uh, Inglot Dura Line. I use this with their eyeliner. It helps turn it into a liquid liner. I have the Anastasia Brow Pomade. I have the Milk Hydro Primer, Hydro Grip Primer. I use the Cinema Secrets to pour the solution into and then clean my brushes with. I have some more Anastasia Brow Products. I have this MAC Longwear. It's a brown liner. So I have black and brown. Eye Primer. I have this Lip Lock. So you can mix this in with any lipstick and it helps make it last longer. I have the Patrick Ta Shaping Wax for eyebrows. Um, I don't really know if I like this. I actually just got the e.l.f. one and I think it works a little better. Next up we have some powder. So this is the, I believe it's RCMA translucent powder. I have the Kosas powder, Hourglass, uh, Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. I have a bronzer from Tarte. I have the Dior Backstage Glow Palettes. And then I have an eyeshadow palette that I have not used yet. I have a Rare Beauty blush. The Stila liquid eyeshadows with shimmer. These are so pretty. I have a clear gloss as well, so you can mix in any lipstick. I have this palette from Patrick Ta. And these are all the colors. Oh, I forgot. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette. So I have some NARS concealers. I have some Stila liquid lipsticks. Both of these are NARS palettes. They're blush palettes. So like lighter skin tones. This is for different types of skin tones. 
I got some shimmer and some matte. Makeup by Mario Neutrals. Fenty Beauty, I use this for bronzer. For primer, I have Hourglass as well. I have a couple different ones because I like to use different ones depending on the look I'm going for and also the type of foundation you're using. I have a Clinique under eye moisturizer. I have the Hula bronzer. Cinema Secrets in here. I will show you the, all the concealers that I carry. I have Creme Brulee, Café au lait, Vanilla, Custard, Biscuit, and Chocolate. For liquid lipsticks, I don't know why I have two of these. One of them is Sheer Passionate and one of them is Beso. These also aren't really that different, but um, I have Perla and Patina. I have a liquid blush here from NARS. This is NARS Orgasm, I believe. Yes. Sanitizer Mist. This is what I spray on, on all my powders after I'm done. Then I have my color correctors. Like I said, these are from Face Atelier. Super Group Sunscreen. Some setting sprays. So oil Control Finish Spray. This is Bioderma. Micellar Water. To help clean like eye makeup. The Clinique Moisturizer for dry skin and oily skin. This is Final Seal. I spray that at the very end. Then I have um, alcohol to help sanitize. And then these are, this is some oil drops to mix in with foundation if you want like a glowy, dewy look. Then over here I have some eye pencils, um, lip liners, and I have these in a couple different colors. I have them from NYX and Charlotte Tilbury. All right, I have my little scissors for cutting eyelashes. For eyes, I have Makeup Forever. I have it in black, and then this one I believe is Sand. This is to help brighten out the, the eyes. And this is obviously to make it like a little bit more spooky. I also have this one from NYX, it's black. Then I have a white one and I have brown. I use this one a lot for bridal. Then over here are the lip liners. So um, this one is Bed Rose by NYX, Nude Truffle, Vintage Deep. And from Charlotte Tilbury, I have Iconic Nude. Okay, we're back. I didn't realize I was not recording. So, um, for Charlotte Tilbury, I have Very Naughty, Pillow Talk, Kiss and Tell, Iconic Nude, Pillow Talk Again, and Hollywood Honey. And for NYX, this is for, um, this is eyeliner. This is like a pretty navy, like midnight blue for someone who wants fun colors. I also have these over here. The lighter blue, a purple, pink, plum lip liner by NYX, Nutmeg, I have Pale Pink, and Flower. Then I have some, the NYX eyebrow pencils. Don't know if I'm a huge fan of these. Then I have this from Laura Mercier. They are the caviar sticks. They're really pretty. A lip gloss from Charlotte Tilbury. It is Ibiza Nights. I have a lip treatment from Fittish. In here I carry my palettes. Then I have my what is this called? I have a expandable trash can have the Tartlet Full Bloom palette. This one's really pretty. It has a ton of different colors. I have the Lorac Pro palette. This palette is a Z palette. It's a combination of different palettes. I think these are mostly like ColourPop colors. Then I have the James Charles palette with different colors. Okay, in this bag, I have a towel eyelashes. These are the Ardell Naturals in 110. Here I have my disposables, my lip ones, my eyelash mascara ones. I have some more lashes. I have the 420s, the 421s, and then some more naturals. Some cotton rounds to take off makeup. These little spatulas to help scoop out cream products and moisturizers. And I have these triangle powder puffs. I have makeup wipes have this fan. I believe I got it from Amazon as well. In this bag, this is where all my foundations are. So these are all my Charlotte Tilbury foundations. I will show you which ones I carry. 7.5, Magic Cream, the Saya Star Glow, number two, 5.5, 6, 14, four. And then I believe I have two more of these in different colors, but this one is 4.5 in the Light Wonder foundation. Whenever I'm working, I kind of set it like this, and I know that these are the brushes that I have used and that need to be cleaned. So I just keep up in here and I close it whenever I'm done with a job and I'll have to clean them when I get home. Here's another lip pencil in natural. 
Then over here I have a palette which needs to be cleaned. This one is metal versus the other one was like a clear acrylic. That's what I use for makeup, for mixing. Then lastly, I have my brush holder, a little brush bag with all different kinds of brushes, big ones, eyeshadow, lips, a little bit of everything. A bonus is I will bring a ring light. So I bring one like this from Amazon. It's small, compacts, easy to carry around. So that is it for my makeup kit tour. If you enjoyed it, uh, please let me know. And if you want to see my hair kit, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.